Okay, right behind me here, you can see, is the Paynes Bay Forest Fire here on the refuge. It started about four or five days ago, and it has been burning uh, out of control uh, since. It was a lightning strike that actually started the fire, and these are common on the refuge. This is a wildfire. As you can see, uh, as of my last update, it was up over 15,000 acres. So uh, we've got a major forest fire here on the refuge, here at Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge. And you see the fire is right there. And uh, they've been fighting it with helicopters and planes, and uh, hopefully they're going to get it under control real soon. But the winds have been pretty high today. So uh, it's been really tough. I drove in, got some footage of it. We've got some excellent footage of the fire. We've got some nighttime stuff too. Uh, it's going to be some awesome footage for this film, for the refuge uh, Alligator River film. Here at uh, Alligator River, and we got the firefighters coming in here. We've got the Paynes Bay fire, which is right over here off, off to my left here. It's been burning now since May the 5th. We've got these firefighters coming in here. They're getting ready to take this yeah, chopper, launch this chopper up, and start si fighting this fire that's down right. here. Uh, we just got some great footage of one leaving with the bucket on it. And uh, these guys are going right, to be up fighting up. it. It's been piping up a little bit harder today. And uh, we're hoping they can get it a little more contained. But we'll give you an update as we go along. Blake Scott and Ron Marchand preparing to shoot the chopper. A lot going on here today. Alright, we got a helicopter here is getting ready to take off the fire. It's done another burst. Yesterday they had a burst also today. It's pumped back up. Uh, it's really giving them a hard time. So we're going to get some shots of the helicopter taking off, getting ready to go fight this Payne's Bay fire here at Alligator River Refuge. River. This here is a relief crew to take a break. We got a big fire out there at the southern part of the refuge and it got out of control yesterday a bit and they contained it somewhat and they're out there working hard today because it got out of control again today. We got these guys here, they've been fighting it since I believe May 2nd. And I uh, go ahead and in on that over here. All kinds of fresh people here. These guys really know what they're doing. It's a hard fight. There's a lot of smoldering going on. It's what we call a peat fire. Okay, and what happens to fire it goes underground and it starts burning all this stuff here. It's so hard that whatever's damp, it just it's a smoldering so it starts burning. It's a real hard fire to put out. They have, I believe, two miles of irrigation out there now just to try and keep it wet. We've had no rain here. We thought we'd have a big thunderstorm yesterday come in with a lot of rain. That didn't happen. We got rated before it even got there. So it makes these guys work a lot harder try and contain that fire out there. Hey, we're here at the Paynes Bay Fire. We finally made it in here. We're down the road about six miles into the fire. If you can see behind me, there's some smoke going on right now. And it's really devastated down here. We just started filming. We've got some hot flashes over here that are occurring. We're getting that on film. And way in the background there, you should be able to see over my head, 
There's a lot of smoke going on there. Now what these are right now, the woods are burned, but it's a peat fire. Okay, down here in North Carolina, eastern part, there's a lot of peat. And it goes down anywhere from 2 to 8, 10 foot. 6 foot, anywhere near. It's a thick peat. What happens is the fire is so hot, it gets below ground. Once it gets below ground, it starts heating up that peat. The water evaporates, creates a lot of smoke, and it burns, and it smolders. It's not a real big, hot, flamey fire. It just got a lot of smoldering in it because it's cooking the wetness, drying it off, and it's burning. But it's burning underground with whatever oxygen that is down in there. So we're going to be here videotaping for the rest of the night. See what we can do. Maybe we can get some good night shots. Uh, you get more flame and the glow and all that, and you'll be able to see a lot better what's uh, happening here. But uh, it's devastated. They claim there's over 44,000 acres that are burnt. And this is June 7th. 9, uh, 2011 so uh, it's still going good there's still a front where the fire is above ground and they're fighting that but uh, we'll get you some stuff here okay we're at the Paynes Bay fire as you can see there's everything is burning uh, DJ's inside the fire here he's getting footage for the refuge alligator River film. Uh, Ron had just explained to you about these these fires here. We have flashes coming up. There's several flashes down here where DJ's at. It's a dangerous situation to be in filming. Uh, the wind could shift immediately and just take off. Uh, there have been several people that have been injured by, by the fire that got trapped by the fire. And uh, we're down in here. We're going to get you some really, really, we're being very safe, but they're dangerous shots. Uh, that we want to follow up for the uh, Paynes Bay fire part of the Alligator River Refuge film. Okay, Ron's down in here. He's right inside the fire. He's doing a 180 view of this devastation here. It's absolutely incredible how much devastation has been done by this fire. Uh, he's down in the trench. We're seeing burst come up around us. And I uh, could easily get out of control very fast. Uh, it's burnt down telephone poles. Uh, it's just been one of the most devastating fires I've seen in a long time. Uh, since the uh, Evans Road fire back in Pocosin Lakes when we were doing the uh, Refuge Pocosin Lakes film. But we're here, this is the Paynes Bay fire.